Welcome to the i3 Guru video series by CPI. This entry is titled Configuring Client Logging. While many issues may be resolved with only a call ID from the end user, some will require gathering logs from one or more i3 client applications. Please note that the steps provided in this entry to configure and gather client logs apply to CIC 3.0. Previous Interaction Center versions required copying the executable traceconfig.exe from the IC server to the client workstation. Locate and run the application inin traceconfig.exe in the program directory for an installed client application. In most cases, this will be c colon backslash program files backslash interactive intelligence backslash IC user apps. Select one or more subsystems as required by your support contact. Right click and select the appropriate tracing level. If in doubt, select tracing level 7. With one or more subsystems selected, you may also press the appropriate number on the keyboard to set the tracing level. Keep in mind that this applies only to tracing levels for client applications. You should never set an IC server tracing level to verbose or all without explicit instruction to do so by a qualified support contact. From the Tools menu, select Set Trace Root Path. Then, select the third radio button in the dialog to set the path for the local machine. Enter the path to the Logs folder within the Interactive Intelligence Program folder or the desired location and press OK. In most cases, this can be set to C colon backslash program files backslash interactive intelligence backslash logs. A separate subfolder will automatically be created for each day. Replicate the issue, then browse to the appropriate log folder. Select the desired logs, right-click, and select Send to Compressed Folder. This will create a zip of the selected log files that can then be sent to your support contact for analysis. Thank you for watching. You can find more information and comment on this video at blog.comprod.com.